If there's any questions that you ever have on any of these machines, you can call up HTP, USA Weld, and they're happy to answer any of the questions for you. The control panel is really nicely laid out. There's not a million things going on here, but there certainly is a tremendous amount of adjustability and flexibility in this machine. Now here, they're sloped down. You can adjust that where it slopes the amperage down. Again, that's not something that I'm going to get into right now. I'm just going over the features that this machine has. Slope down, we already showed the low end. Pre-gas, now that's pretty neat. If you hit pre-gas and set it on two seconds, let's say. What that does is when you activate the pedal on this machine, gas will begin to flow for two seconds before the machine actually lights up. So sometimes if you want to purge your area of any external atmosphere and get that good argon shield going, you might want to set your pre-gas up one second, two seconds before the torch actually lights up. You can also set post-gas. Now we all know that everybody says it's uh, one second for every 10 amps. So if you're running 100 amps, theoretically you want to put 10 seconds of post-gas. Well, I think the people that said that are the people that sell the argon. Uh, we find that about six, seven seconds of gas, post-gas, is pretty much good for about anything you're going to do. If you're really welding hot, then yeah, you know, crank your, uh, crank your post-gas up a little bit and you'll be okay. You can set the frequency, as I said. You can set the balance all the way down from 10% all the way up to 90% and that will allow you to alter whether you're going to have more penetration or more cleaning action. None of these things are carved in stone. These are all things that uh, give TIG welding the flexibility and the power that it does have by being able to adjust all these parameters. I know for a lot of people it's almost overwhelming. There's so many things that this machine is capable of doing. You say, where do I start? Well, where you start is just at the beginning. Uh, First off, I really suggest if you're not a proficient welder, get a book, take a course, go down to your welding supply, uh, look things up on the internet because there's a wealth of knowledge there. If you are experienced, then anything I say, you already know. But this machine is going to absolutely change the way you work. This machine is five stars, it's six stars. I'm telling you, this machine has absolutely changed the way we work here at HRE Fab and uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. As I said, over a year in the shop, worked every day, and this thing has never missed a beat. It's got high quality components. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the connections. Down at the bottom, we have Dinsey connectors that are the industry standard. Um, the hoses are ultra flexible, really does make a difference on uh, long sessions. You don't have a hard, rigid hose. Uh, weighing you down. These hoses are very, very light, very flexible, and very rugged. You have a foot pedal control. It'll also take the hand pedal control. I did a little review a while back on the uh, HTP hand control. Very, very nice piece. The torches are highest quality. Um, you're not going to burn out a torch. They're not some uh, offshore version. They're made right here in the USA, those torches, and they are absolutely industry top quality pieces. I've got some scrap aluminum here. It's about uh, 035, 040, somewhere in that vicinity. I'm just going to put this together using the pulse feature. And I'll show you how nice this, uh, this machine welds. I'm running a 1 16th electrode. I'm running 40 amps with 3 pulse per second and 55% on the low side. And that also helps. 
Now, uh, outside of my two ugly tack welds on the end, um, and burning off some crud because I really didn't uh, prepare this all that well, you can see, I'll uh, just brush this off and you'll be able to see what a nice weld this actually makes. And this is really, really thin sheet metal. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so that you can uh, get a look at it. Maybe I'll just take a still for you. So there you can see with 40 amps, 3 pulses per second, 160 hertz on the frequency, and a low side of 55%, uh, you got a really nice bead on 40 thousandths aluminum that doesn't burn through. You don't have to uh, stitch weld it. You can just weld right across the seam and you won't have any problems. And if you look uh, the cleaning action there on the heat affected zone, it's nice and tight. It's not spread out all over the place. And that's a nice feature when you want to do some work and not have to have a lot of uh, after weld cleanup. While a cooler is technically an accessory, in my book it's really a necessity. Anybody who's TIG welded with an air cooled torch will tell you that they get hot. You have to put them down. You can't run really long seams with them before they start to overheat. A cooler eliminates all those problems and it allows you to work cleaner, cooler, and with more confidence. Frankly, if your torch isn't burning your fingers, you're going to concentrate on your weld rather than trying to get that last little bead done before your fingers cook out from under your glove. So a cooler, in my opinion, absolutely goes hand in glove with the machine. Now for the small amount of money additional that a cooler is going to cost you, it's really going to improve everything about the whole TIG welding experience. And in particular, HTP's cooler is designed to work directly with the 221. It's not some kind of uh, a cobbled together piece. It works, it plugs directly in. As you can hear, it's running, it's extremely quiet. It's got a solid brass pump, so that'll give you years of service. And it's a two gallon reservoir. The leading competitor's cooler is a one gallon reservoir. In order to upgrade to two gallons, it'll cost you a significant amount of money. You get two gallons right out of the box with the HTP cooler, it plugs right in, it's a no-brainer, makes your life easy, and as I said, it also is a small footprint, won't take up a lot of room, so think about it when you're about to purchase this for the little additional money, get it with a cooler and a water-cooled torch, you're going to be a whole lot happier in the long run. So just to wrap up, the HTP Invertig 221H ACDC TIG machine, Small footprint, lightweight, 40 pounds, 4 amps to 220 amps. Everything is adjustable, frequency, balance, you name it, pulse. This machine's got it all. If you're in the market for a TIG, this is where you have to stop. This is the machine that you want to put in your shop because it'll give you years and years and years of absolutely flawless performance. It's backed by their good, solid warranty. No nonsense, 90 day money back. If you don't like the machine, give them a call, send it back. I don't know anybody that's going to do that. This machine, once you get it in your hand, you're not going to let anybody near it. Give them a call today, 1 800 USA Weld. Personal service, excellent customer service. It's really, really a nice company to do business with.